What's up guys, it's Pop Rick here, and today we're going to be doing another Funko News video. We have some brand new stuff that just came out. We have some brand new winter conventions. Yes, more. So, we're going to talk about that. Brand new Funko official announcements from Bullet Train. A couple anime ones. First looking new Naruto way, by the way. Plenty of goodies. So, let's do this. <laughs> plan on doing is before i start this video um i do plan on playing another video out probably monday i think i'm just gonna go over the entire nycc rumored list because we do have we do have a list and it's pretty long i know that's what she said do have some stuff that is also coming out or that should be coming out i should say um because funk is doing their official nycc reveals next or no and yeah nycc reveals next week so there's a lot of good stuff that's coming out. I will for sure be making some videos. It's just going to be hard with school and stuff. But, I mean, still, I'll put it out. Because, like I said, junior year, man, crap's going to get crazy. You feel me? I don't know. What I'm just saying is I'm going to try to put some videos out next week. A video out Monday for you guys. It's Labor Day. I have that stuff off. Let's go over the Funko News because we have some brand new stuff. We even have some new sodas. I might get a little bit excited on this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna. Well, we have updated glands of the Toto Einstein dog. Um, those are pretty cute. Those are gonna be releasing October 4th on Funko.com. It's almost like part of the pop with purpose line. They're pretty cute. I'm probably definitely gonna be getting both of these because these are just absolutely adorable. I'm so happy we're finally getting an updated version of Toto because it's been a while and these are pretty cute and I totally see these selling out maybe but they just look so freaking cute they look perfect we also have the new soprano funko pops that just got revealed i know my um dad's ex-wife would kill for these so i'm pretty sure once when she sees these in stores she'll be like oh that kid this and i don't know just a bunch of bull crap you feel me yeah, we have Soprano Pops. I'm not going to be getting none of those because I really don't care for Sopranos. Um, I know my friend um, Saki was pretty excited about those, so I'm sure he'll get definitely get some of those. And then the Lucifer D23 Expo exclusive is has an update release date to release next Monday, I think. Instead of it releasing on Slash 9 with the other um, exclusives for G23. Now, this is for a box hunter, st box hunter store. You can still get this in the Funko shop. I'm going to try to get everything I want, hopefully, in the Funko shop. Wish me luck on that. I think if I do, I'll definitely make an unboxing video because it'll be pretty sweet. Now, we also have the Aaron Harden Funko Pop. The Hot Top exclusive is also hitting stores. So, that's hitting stores. When I actually went, because I went to Hot Topic yesterday, I bought, I was in line with my good buddies of mine outside because they had a chase drop of twice and stuff. I was just there for the two, um, get them for you. I was only here for the two, um, drops because they released it this pop and I was like, you know, I might as well cop that. So I copped that. Now I checked my email and apparently I had $15 off reward, so I was able to get this free pop, which I found pretty cool. I had a Guillaume Chase, which I got, I'm, gonna, I'm hoping to try to sell that because I already have it. I know you guys say, oh my God, you're flipping this net. Personally, I don't care because I'm out here. I'm trying to make some money, man, for, this con for these conventions and upcoming stuff. It's got that stuff at Hot Top. It goes pretty cool. Nice to meet my friends. But yeah, anyway, the Heart and Aaron, they also had that there, but I ordered mine online. I'm praying that God doesn't get canceled, but hopefully that ship out soon because that'd be pretty good. First looks up some new Hello Kitty and Friends Unicorn Pops. Um, like I said, I'm I'm staying the hell away from Hello Kitty. I stopped collecting Hello Kitty a while ago. Not gonna be getting these. Uh, first looks at a what is this? A Hobby Stock exclusive. Um, Jose Mara Chan Pop. I think I don't know how you say his name. He's some rock icons person. I don't know what the heck he is. Also have a new Crunchyroll four pack of um Demon Slayer characters with glow in the dark. They glow in the dark. They need to now. I have the Target exclusive two pack. I'm not getting the four pack, which I should have got the four pack. I'm not gonna be getting that, but I mean, still, um, it's pretty cool. I'm definitely still working on my Demon Slayer set, by the way. But still, there's it definitely is some pretty cool stuff. There's a bunch of cool stuff that's coming further for Demon Slayer. So, um, yeah, this four pack's pretty interesting. It's a country roll exclusive, like I said. Not sure if I'm gonna be getting this. I probably won't. The Jujutsu Kaisen GameStop exclusive, GameStop exclusive four pack with a Ichidori glow in the dark pop. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm like I said, probably not gonna be getting this just because. But yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah, um, Target exclusive Ahmet is hitting stores, which is from Moon Knight, the best Disney Plus show alive. I would make when She Hulk is done. I'm gonna review the series. I'm gonna rant about it. I guess there's some stuff in the show I really don't like, like with that Megan the Stallion scene and the She Hulk. Get, get, get the hell out of here. We also have the T'Challa on Throne is also hitting Target, so 
that is pretty cool. Like I said, I'm not gonna be getting this because I really am not. I'm not. I don't like how the pops turned out. I am for sure seeing Black Panther too. Well, kind of forever. So hoping that'd be pretty cool. That's pretty cool. The moment. I mean, the deluxe. Not gonna be getting it though. Got some brand new Walt Disney World Funko Pops that are coming soon. These are all pretty cool. I love them. They're pretty badass. Now we also have a brand new. Um, I think that's Einstein. It's, um, it's Doc with helmet. It's like a glow in the dark pop, pop and tea bundle. It's like a common, it just glows in the dark and tea um logo. So that is pretty cool. And oh my god, literally the best reveal for sodas. These are this is really fire. These sodas are freaking awesome. I love this. The, I know a lot of my buddies out there are really excited for this, especially the fun time push. I know for a fact he is super excited for this, but there is a Ben Go Soda with the Chase. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. This is like one of the best sodas of 2022, I'd say. I am definitely getting this. I got to ask my source if they can hook me up with a case of six because this is like the only case of six I would for sure get just because I think it's really cool. I'm super excited for that. Oh my God. Moon Knight! Making a Moon Knight soda. PX exclusive glow in the dark. Bro, that is so cool. I definitely need that Moon Knight soda. That's super cool. I hope we see Mr. Knight. I'm thinking for Halloween, I'm going to dress up as Mr. Knight or just cosplay. But still, uh, Moon Knight, Peak Show, and this soda too is fire. We also have a brand new Dr. Fate Funko soda. Then we have a brand new Obi-Wan Kenobi Funko soda. Jim Helpert soda from The Office. So I have, and coming from Rock and Roll on YouTube, we have some brand new Funko sodas. One is a Lord of the Rings character. And the other is, it's like, it's some elephant from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I'm probably definitely going to be getting that one to go with my Rudolph and Christmas sodas. Pretty cute one. Definitely has a very adorable one. So I have some brand new Bullet Train Funko Pops. I'm going to pass on these. I actually leaked these while I was actually in the hallway. Just, when I go to Fright Night, let me know in the comments below. I might put a YouTube YouTube tab for this because I was going to bring my cease and assist and try to see if after the show they can sign it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I got to see though. If you guys want to see that, definitely let me know in the comments below because if you do, I will probably definitely do that for you guys. We have a brand new Might guy, I think from Naruto. It's going dark. I definitely cop this one. It's pretty cool. I'm working on my Naruto set. I want to try to get more and more of the cool ones because they just make so much Naruto pops that are really freaking cool. Like... Oh, sorry. Okay, and then on the back of the box, they got leaked because we have a first look at the new Naruto wave. And oh my god, these are really freaking cool. I'm definitely going to be getting some of these. These are really fire. I cannot wait to get them. Those are freaking sick. A hey, pop I add icons. Coca-Cola Santa Funko Pop. These are pretty cool. I think the pop looks extremely cute. Definitely going to be getting these 100% sure. It's very cute. I am super excited for these. We have some brand new winter convention limited edition exclusives. President Loki and Black Adam. I'm definitely getting both of these. The Black Adam is so sick with the hood on. The alligator Loki. I mean, you have the um, President Loki with the alligator on him that is buying off his hand from the iconic scene. We're getting these two. And I'm just super excited for Winter Con when that does happen because that's going to be such a cool con. I'm really excited for NYC reveals next week. But yeah, guys, that's been episode of Pop Freak. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys. Have a good day. Peace. I mean, I don't know what the fuck happened after that, to be honest with you. Uh, my stomach started feeling messed up. And, you know, I had Mr. Flynn for my third period and I had uh, first lunch.